Hi, I'm Quasi Court and these are the five staples to the South West London music scene. Now we're at Pop Brixton. Pop Brixton is just a place where we all come and hang out. It's kind of been here for the, the last five years. It's a place where there's loads of restaurants. There's also a place where they play music. Occasionally there'll be a show or a DJ. There's always like new brands and new stores coming up. So if you've got a new brand, you can come here to Pop Brixton and you can display your brand. There's a record store and stuff. So just an overall kind of merging of a creative space. Kano was here the other day with my friend Alfred from Pit London and he did a community set at Represent Radio. Represent Radio is a community-based radio station. A lot of London artists, rap artists, rock artists, uh, Represent is one of those milestones that you kind of hit first. And it's just about really engaging with the community. So when you are like building your brand, you want to ensure that the streets are always still messing with you. And the way you do that is by getting on radio stations that Represent, that are close to the community. And a lot of the presenters that you see here at Represent, they move on towards BBC One Extra, Radio One, etc. So it's really the beginning of an artist's journey, a presenter's journey. Growing up in Brixton before, uh, we never had an area like this, but it's now become more of a creative space, more of a hybrid of cultures as well. So many different cultures get to kind of merge together. And that's one of the key things about London. We have so many different cultures. And when you go into these sort of spaces, you can see the influence of the Caribbean culture, the African culture, Spanish and Indian. I think in London, it's really important to, to continue to kind of advocate uh, multicultural places like this. So yeah, Pop Brixton, creative, rustic, Brixton, Southwest kind of vibe. So loads of inspiration, loads of culture, loads of energy, loads of hype, loads of gasness, everything in the heart of Brixton where you know shit goes down. Bang. Liberty, a creative space in the heart of Brixton. Liberty's been existing for over 18 years and there's been so many interesting creative people that have come from here, from the likes of Jamal Edwards and Julie Adenuga. It's kind of like a place where you harbour your talent, discover who you are, get the support, and then from there it gives you the necessary tools to then go into the creative industry and your chosen path. It's also a hub for many creatives to come together and be able to uh, connect and to collaborate on certain different projects and stuff like that. I've kind of worked on many different projects here. You know, I've collaborated with photographers, with artists, but just overall, just collaborating of thoughts and minds and topics. I think for any creative that's coming up, you kind of want to find a space where you can actually share your ideas because a lot of your ideas start with people in your own community or just by yourself. So overall, Liberty's been a great support and a great assistance in my journey, giving me that clarity, allow me to collaborate, and just giving me that overall confidence. Right, so right now we're at Brixton Recording Studios. This is a really important studio space in Brixton. It's literally the place where a lot of young artists, a lot of the drill artists, rap artists, pop artists come, and it's a place where you can really harness your talent. I've recorded a lot of my material here, learned a lot of lessons here. You know, just observing the space and seeing how someone from our community can actually build a studio and have artists come in and have that community vibe. It kind of represents how far we've come as a culture. You know, having a studio in the midst of the community, it's owned by a really important person to me, Jaja Sos, who's been a great inspiration to all of us in the community and to all of the artists in South London. There's a culture of you know, young artists from London actually getting inspiration and getting you know, information from people that have come before us, but Jaja Sos has been really instrumental in my growth, you know, just coming by and getting certain advice and just learning how to go into the industry and just learning how to move. And Bricks and Recording Studios has been essential in just inspiring me and showing me what is possible, you know. And it's really important for a lot of us, like young South London rappers, to get that inspiration and to have people in the community that are opening up their studio and also opening up their knowledge and their experience to really guide us in the right path.
So right now we are here at the 606 Jazz Club in the heart of Chelsea. Opened in 1976. It's been open for around 40 years. It has an extreme good heritage of jazz musicians coming in and out of the doors. It really has like a cool jazz vibe, anything you would imagine a jazz club to be like. This club hosts so many different events throughout the week. They have jazz, they have blues, they have soul, they have funk. Uh, they have some of the best jazz musicians in the world that come down here. They employ the most amount of jazz musicians in the country. They're open seven nights a week. They have a really diverse crowd. Being of black heritage, I kind of follow the journey of music. Venues like this are essential in me looking at the origin of jazz, the origin of funk, the origin of soul, all the music that my parents would have listened to. Though I make hip hop, I grew up listening to soul, listening to jazz, listening to all the soundtracks of my parents and my family's life. So the influence and the soul of all the jazz musicians and the energy they put into the universe will stay with me. So, you know, getting an opportunity to come to a venue like this, to be able to listen to jazz, just opens up my musical mind. You're able to see real musicians. You're able to get music from a different standpoint. Definitely, I would say, you know, any young musicians, period, rapper, singer, come down to 606 Jazz Club, listen to some of the bands, get some inspiration, take that inspiration, put that into your music and rock the world. Okay, now we're at Notting Hill Arts Club. This is one of my favorite venues to perform at. I performed here probably like three or four times. There's always like loads of hip hop events and loads of nights in Notting Hill. So you can always come down here and look at different bands and different rappers and stuff and really get a taste of uh, the music in the city. This venue has such a crazy alumni. People like Amy Winehouse and Disclosure and Subtract and Rio Aura. Actually, I think Rio Aura was discovered here. All the great alumni, it gives you that extra edge to really push and give it your all because you know that the people that once were on this stage have gone on to sell millions of records. And the people that, you know, organize the events as well, they're really, really good for consultancy as well. They've also recently opened up a record label as well, uh, Notting Hill Arts Club Records. So a lot of great things are happening here, man. You know, a lot of the artists from Sony will come here and perform. It's just one of those spaces where you can engage the industry and engage whether you're good enough to really take it out there. And if you can really rock this stage and really perform, there's a lot of eyes on you. So that's why Notting Hill is always a special place. This doesn't tend to be an area where artists are from. It's always like a place where artists from all around the city come. Once you start making a little hype in South London or North London, you kind of end up in West London at some point where a lot of the uh, music industry meets. That's one of the reasons why Notting Hill, you know, is a great place to perform because the visibility is there. A lot of a and are around here as well, so you really get that visibility as an artist when you can perform in a venue like this. As long as you give the energy and you're optimistic and you engage the crowd, you know, people here are willing to get involved. And you look on the walls and you see Bruno Mars and you see Rio Ora and you know, okay, cool, I need to give it my all because if I do, I could become something greater. So any artist I can come in, including myself, I think Notting Hill's a great place to really begin to realize your dreams on a big level. So my staples are Southwest London, I mean, I think Southwest London is beginning to become the hub of like grime and hip hop and beginning to become impactful across the world. I mean, who would have thought that, you know, young kids from South London would be able to make material and it would cross so many different communities in the UK and now beginning to cross, you know, over in the world. Southwest London has just been a great inspiration in terms of music and it's, you know, kind of taught me everything I know in terms of strength and resilience and persistence. We've got unique culture. You know, we've got so much energy coming out of that area from the likes of Stormzy and Dave. So that's my wrap up of Southwest London. In my opinion, one of the greatest places on earth for musicians, for inspiration and for talent.